Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know the drill by now, it is Thirsty Thursday, which means one, if you don't have some G Fuel on the ready, you should probably fix that by using code IMMORTAL for 10 to 30% off. And two, it means it is also update day here in Call of Duty. This is actually the final update before the mid-season update, which is currently scheduled for next week in Cold War and Warzone. While today isn't any like massive title update, we did end up getting some new changes across all three titles, so today, as always, we're breaking them all down. So if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. Uh, let's go for 4,500 likes on this one, raising the bar a little bit. And of course, if you're new here, or if you're a part of the 56% of viewers who aren't already subscribed, I am always covering everything going on in COD, uh, news, intel updates, tips, you name it, it's all right here. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. Now, like I said, when it comes to today's update, uh, this one is not a big title update. That'll be reserved for next week in Cold War and maybe Warzone as well. We're still not sure if the mid-season update for Warzone is going to be an actual title update or not. We should find out early next week though, but today doesn't require any special downloads. Instead, whenever you get on Cold War or Warzone slash Modern Warfare next, you'll just have to do the whole update requires restart thing and then you're good to go. Anyways, when it comes to today's changes, first up in Warzone, we did end up getting a brand new map change with the zombies yet again. And as we talked about earlier this week, Activision sent myself and some other creators a piggy bank, indicating that the zombies would be moving on over to the downtown area and ultimately the bank. And sure enough, they have moved once again and now downtown is getting overrun by the undead. Really, I should just say the bank area, so it is pretty condensed within downtown itself, but it is effectively another location crossed off the list. Uh, I do think by now it's pretty clear that we're not going to see every single location on the map overrun, uh, more so just some of the main ones now, and I would assume some things could start to get worse for Verdansk as the season progresses, especially after the mid-season update, considering we have the whole end of Verdansk looming in the background at the end of the season, at least according to some of the leaks and the rumors that we've discussed previously. Oh, and by the way, we did get a brand new blog today for the downtown outbreak like we have pretty much every single week so far. And for the most part, it's just more the same, you know, oh, uh, there's zombies in downtown now, better take them out. But at the very end of it, it does say, quote unquote, up until the date of this issue, infestation levels remain steady, given the lack of severe outbreak inside the individual areas within southern Verdansk. Uh, these levels will be subject to change based on current outbreak conditions which to me is kind of teasing that we may finally start to see the zombies overrun multiple areas at once at some point in the coming weeks. Now, as far as the playlists go for this week, we of course got a brand new update here for Warzone. This week we've got the standard Battle Royale quads, trios, duos, and solos as always. We've also got Rebirth Resurgence quads and Rebirth Resurgence duos, so a lot of emphasis on Rebirth this week it would seem. And we've also got Plunder Blood Money quads to round things out as well. Uh, not the best playlist here this week, unfortunately, no stimulus or buyback, but they're not too bad either. Uh, then over in Modern Warfare Multiplayer, we got some new playlists here today as well. This week we're looking at all the normal quick play stuff per usual. Uh, we've got the normal ground war, normal gunfight, Shoot the Ship is back yet again. I believe this is actually two weeks in a row now where we've had Shoot the Ship, which is of course always great to see. Camo grinds are going to be much, much easier when Shipment and Shoot House are available for us. Then we've also got Gunfight OSP, where you actually have to loot weapons and equipment off the ground and off the walls. We've also got Team Defender, and then finally Cyber Attack Pro as well. Also, coming up this weekend, we are going to see a brand new triple threat event go live for Cold War and Warzone. Unfortunately, this isn't going to do anything for any Modern Warfare multiplayer players. Uh, we don't really get any events there anymore, unfortunately. But starting today on PlayStation and then tomorrow on every platform, we're going to have double XP, double weapon XP, and some double battle pass tier progressions. So, this weekend is definitely going to be a very solid time to jump on and grind out some games, either in Cold War multiplayer or zombies, or of course in Warzone in any mode there. Now briefly, I did also want to glance over at the Trello board, because recently Raven did make some changes here. Uh, previously, everything in the Warzone category was listed as under investigation, meaning that Raven was pretty much aware of the issues, but they didn't have a fix for them, at least as of that time. But now two of these items have actually been updated to fixed scheduled, meaning that we should see these fixed in the mid-season update next week. And here we have the whole armor plate issue with plates just not spawning in at certain areas on the map. Uh, particularly Superstore oftentimes has this issue and safe to say, it's pretty frustrating when you're there with a ton of other pretty sweaty teams. It can lead to some not so fun moments and some pretty stressful moments. Uh, but good news is that is finally getting fixed. Then they're also fixing the whole rebirth bug where you can actually get underneath the map and loot and take out players as if you were playing normally, but obviously the other players don't know where you are, they can't see you, 
it's a pretty game breaking issue and this is also getting fixed all around some good news there. Then moving on over into Cold War, we also got a new playlist update here as well. And honestly, for the most part, it's just a lot of the usual stuff here. However, we do have a pretty cool new standout for this week called Nuclear Apocalypse. This is basically Nuketown 24-7 and Apocalypse 24-7 in one sort of mosh pit style playlist, which I gotta say, might be one of the better playlists that we've had in quite some time. Nuketown is obviously great for running up a ton of kills in a very, very short amount of time. And surprisingly, Apocalypse is actually one of the better maps in my mind in Cold War multiplayer. It plays pretty fast and it's also great for getting a lot of kills and just some hectic gameplay in general. So that playlist is definitely going to be the go-to for me with the whole double XP and everything else going on this weekend. Now, alongside Nuclear Apocalypse, this week we also have the Snipers Only Mosh Pit back in action. We've got Standard Stockpile again, which is honestly going to be great for XP come this weekend. Then we've got Gun Game, we've got Nuketown 24-7, Gunfight, Face Off and Standard Fire Team Dirty Bomb as well to round things out for this week. Uh, as always, plenty of options for everyone when it comes to the playlists. Then outside of the playlist, Treyarch did actually reveal part of the mid-season update for next week, as they ended up tweeting out that Miami Strike is going to end up debuting with the mid-season update. Uh, this is essentially going to be a cut-down version of Miami that is a whole lot smaller than the original. And honestly, based off a little preview that we got for it, it looks like it could be decent, especially compared to the original version of Miami, which, uh, yeah, I just think we're, we're not going to talk about that. That was kind of a miss there. But yeah, Miami Strike is coming next week. Then also Prop Hunt is going to be returning with Miami Strike and Satellite now in the rotation and some new props to use as well. And of course, when the full update for the midseason patch is revealed, I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop with everything you need to know there. Now, moving on over to the store to close things out for today. Uh, while this was actually updated yesterday, the Crossbow Bundle is officially back. We do have the Archaic Range Bundle now available officially for everyone. So uh, if you'd rather just buy the bundle instead of doing the three one-shot kills with a no-attachment weapon in 15 different matches challenge, you can just pick this up from the store. Uh, it is currently bugged in Warzone, at least at the time of recording this, Raven hasn't said it's been fixed. Basically, you can get this crossbow, you can use it in Cold War, you can't use it in Warzone though, which is kind of strange. And also, while on the topic of broken and busted bundles, the Necro King bundle from a few days back is also still busted in Warzone. Uh, I believe you can use it if you use a certain barrel. I'll throw the whole Trello board card up on the screen right now for you guys. Uh, but if you just use the standard blueprint in Warzone, uh, that whole Krig variant is not going to work for you. You do have to swap out some of the attachments, and then it's going to work. So yeah, there you have it. With all of that being said, that is effectively everything that ended up changing in today's update in Warzone, Cold War, and Modern Warfare. That's going to wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, tips, and everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.